In life, every man has his tale of woe. Unfortunately, in prison, there's more woe than tale. The story you're about to see takes place at Rockwood Prison. It's a privately owned prison with only 160 inmates. We don't have any serious offenders here, mostly small-time crooks, con artists, and white-collar criminals. Unlike most prisons, here at Rockwood, we're all just one big happy family. Step out now. Hey, that's me walking around down there, Jake Falowski. I've been the warden here at Rockwood for 20 years, and I'm proud to say during that time we've never had an escape. You see, something unusual happened here. The prisoners and myself have developed a deep, trusting relationship. They're basically all right, guys, who made some mistakes in life, that's all. <laughs> I do, baby. Like, hey. take that guy mop on the floor. Hey, Rico, what's up, man? That's my little way. Hey, man, watch your ass. I ain't doing this for my health. He ended up in here for getting 50 speeding violations. The problem was, none of the 50 cars were his. He got the nickname Mile Away, because whenever there was trouble, he was a mile away. <laughs> I guess this night, he should have been two miles away. See that character over there buying cigarettes? They call him next week. And here's how he got his name. Listen, let me have a carton of those low tar nicotine smokes, huh? No problem, 10 bucks. You got it, man, next week. That's what you told me last week. And that's what I'm telling you this week that I'll pay you for last week, next week. Next week hasn't come. I'm gonna... No, 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 this is next yeah, week. Yeah, next week's in know? here for tax evasion. Too many times he told the IRS, next week. Take one look at this guy's face, and you'll know his name is. Oh, yeah, huh? The reason they call him is is he can hear everything. That's why I'm talking soft. I think you can hear me right now. I can. Now, Ears is one of the best safe crackers in the business. But Ears isn't in here for cracking safes. Oh, no. One night while he was out in a job, he heard his wife having sex with some guy in a motel. Oh. Now, I don't have to tell you what Ears did to this guy. That's why he's here. Assault and back. And see that skinny guy boxing? They call him Jerk Off. <laughs> and every night, he lives up to his name. That didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. That hurt. Jerk Off's not too smart. And he picked the guy's pocket and airplane and made a run for him. He's in here for sexual assault. Yeah, the farmer turned him in, and two sheep are the main witnesses. Did I win? Now, with a last name like Pawlowski, they hit me with a lot of Polish jokes. But I don't mind. It's all in fun. Hey, Jake. You hear about the Polish guy, his wife and twins? He went out looking for the other guy? <laughs> <laughs> very like funny, one. very funny, huh? Why don't you stop telling jokes and lose some weight? Hey, you look like you swallowed a basketball. Oh, look at him! Oh, we have deuces. Ah, but sometimes I get even with them, like this morning. Yeah, hey, boys, you want to hear a good one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Jake, sit down, play some cards. No, I can't. I got to go see Eli. Eli? <laughs> good luck. And good luck with your diet. <laughs> you know, he went swimming. He left the ring around the lake. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, one thing I love about Hillsdale, Texas, the population never changes. Every time a kid is born, some guy leaves town. I want to welcome Mr. Robert Wade here this morning as legal representation for Gloria Beaumont on behalf of this merger of these two fine companies. Now, as you know, we currently own 16 Rockwood Supermart stores throughout West Texas. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud and happy to report that last year, our profit margin more than tripled. <laughs> if this merger was to go through, I can foresee a day when there will be a Rockwood Supermart store in every major city 
in America. <laughs> Great job, Eli. Watch the suit. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wade. That's all I have to say. What about the prisons, Mr. Rockwood? Excuse me? I'm here because Mrs. Beaumont is interested in the private prisons your company owns. The state pays your company $45 a day to maintain each prisoner. Now. By cutting your budget, you maintain a prisoner for $10 a day, keeping the rest as gross profit. That's why your earnings tripled this year, Mr. Rockwood, not the stores. Well, that may be true, but if you check the data... Rockwood you... Corp. owns and operates nine prisons in Texas. Combined, you have a potential workforce of over 19,000 inmates. This merger would allow those prisoners to take on the workload of Mrs. Beaumont's factories. That, sir, is why Mrs. Beaumont is interested in Rockwood Corp., not your chain of department stores. Yes, Mr. Wade, but you have to understand that... If the stores are part of the deal, so be it. We can write that off as a tax loss. Mrs. Beaumont will be in town in a few weeks. She'll get in touch with you then. Thank you, Mr. Rockwood. That's all I have to say. So, Candy, last night I went out with that doctor I told you about. Well, it's not like he's a real doctor. He's a proctologist. Yeah, it's a shade above a dentist. His father's also a proctologist. In fact, his father said when he retires, he's going to leave all his assholes to his son. <laughs> it was nice working with you. <laughs> Hang on a sec, Candy. The boss needs me. Yeah. I'll send him right in. I mean, Eli, I mean, I wouldn't be here unless it was serious. The plumbing is all shot. When a guy takes a shower, the first five minutes you get rust. We also need new beds, uniforms, and some workout equipment. I mean, I know they're criminals, but they deserve better living conditions. I know them. I mean, they're all right guys. Right guys? They're animals, Jake. That's why they're in cages. Animals belong in cages. Oh, your father would never say something like that. When he owned the prison, he was fair. He had compassion for the guys. And your mother, she was a great lady, you know. Every Christmas, she'd bake gingerbread cookies for the inmates. We're not here to talk about my dead parents. Turn around, will you? I'd rather look at the back of the chair. Look, Jake, <clears throat> we've been all through this. When my daddy invested in private prisons, he lost money from day one. Ever since I've become CEO, well, we're finally in the red. Ours is the black. I, don't know, I get those two confused. Anyway, we're making a shitload of money. Yes. Same thing goes for the Supermart stores. 16 locations, all conveniently located. The stores. That's another thing you got because of your parents. I don't know why you're so concerned about the prisoner's well-being, especially since you're retiring in two months. Retiring? I have no plans for retirement. No, but we do. Oh, did anyone tell you? We're not renewing your contract. This here is your uh, official two-month notice. Two months? I can't believe it. Yeah, it sucks, don't it? I'm glad your parents are in here to see how you turned out. My parents love me, Jake. They call me their little treasure. <laughs> they should have buried you. I hear the train a-coming. It's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine. So I don't know where I'm stuck in full prison. And I keep dragging on. Off the side of the face, what's that? Train train oh, oh, all right, here we go. This is off the groin, off through the arms, and back down. Off the, the groin, through the arms. Oh, 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 why did you always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno. 
just to watch him die When I hear that whistle blowing I hang my head and cry Howdy friends, Eli Rockwood here telling you to get off your hides and mosey on down to a Rockwood supermarket. We got 16 locations conveniently located. Bring the whole family. We got free balloons for the kids and we've got everything you need for your home. We've got mattresses, we've got home furnishings, we've got clothing, toys, lawn furniture, auto accessories, exercise equipment, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> and remember, here at Rockwood, our prices are so low, you'll feel like you're stealing it. Stealing it? Stick them up! Yeah, stealing it. What's going on, Jake? Why you get us out of bed this time of night? All right, boys, here's the story, okay? As most of you know, I met with Eli this morning and asked him for some money to fix his place up. Again, he turned me down. He wouldn't listen to reason. That's why I need your help. What do you need? What do you need, Jake? What? I'm gonna let you guys bust out of here, rob one of Eli's stores, and get us some new gym equipment. Wait a minute. You want us to pull a job? Jake, are you serious? I certainly am. Never been more serious in my life. Yeah. Hey, now you're talking my language. Now listen, boys, this is all in the QT. I don't want you to tell anyone. There could be serious repercussions, OK? Oh, and another thing. I'm trusting you all come back and I'll make a run for it. Hey, you can trust us, Jake. Yeah, we'd never screw you, Jake. All right, OK. You with me, boys? I'm in. I'm in. OK. Let's do it! Goth. OK, Jerk. Two security cameras, motion detectors. Hmm, quite a lot of stuff around here, you know? Well, hello there. Can I help you find something, Cookie? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll tell you what I want here, OK? I want four pair of black pants, four pair of black gloves, four cans of black shoe polish, and four pairs of black socks. I'll tell you what, throw in a pair of token white socks. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. My name is Lance. You know what they say, watch out for Lance, he'll get in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, cheer up, will you cheer up? Oh, don't mind me, I'm harmless. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Hey, unless it was open. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Well, come on, Princess. It's time to go to work. Oh, you work here? Princess does. She patrols the store overnight. Oh. Oh. Attention, Rockwood Shop. Good doggy. Good <laughs> You even think of stealing our clouts, and this dog will rip your stinking face off. Happy shopping. It's bedtime. Come on. Let's move it. Move out. Let's go. You know the drill. Don't make me bust you now. Let's go. Move it. It's bedtime. Bedtime, ladies. You know the drill. Come on, don't make me bust you. Get in. Okay. Now. Okay, Smitty, no problem. All right, lock them. Lock them, boss. Lights out. Lights out, boss. Uh, 
Our Contessa knew she was in love with Heathcliff. It was late spring when they met in Shanghai. Okay, boys, this is the big night. I left the laundry truck outside, and I left the key in it to make it easy. So everything is all set. It's your night. This is it. Oh, how do we get past the lookout tower? I'll take care of that. You guys just be back by midnight. That's when Smitty makes his rounds. Oh, piece of pie. That's cake, you idiot. Hey, fix your face. I can't help it. I was born this way. Hi. <laughs> Jake, what do we do about that guard dog? Oh, I almost forgot, you know. Here, take this. I think this should take care of it. What's this? Viagra? Hey, Jake, look, I know we've been locked up a long time, but uh, we're not that desperate. They're not for you, they're for Duke. In fact, I put two of these in his doggy treats, and it works like a charm. Watch this. Here, Duke, Duke, good boy. Duke, there you go, Duke. You sure that's gonna work on a dog? Are you kidding? After two of these, the dog won't be a terrier, he'll be a pointer. <laughs> <laughs> they're that strong, huh? Strong, are you kidding? I was with a girl the other night, I was on Viagra. She chipped a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Jake. Wait, guys, come on, stay right behind me. We gotta hurry up. Get back! Hello, Tower, Wilson here. Hey, Wilson, how are you? Uh, uh, Jake, um, Warden, uh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, just great, you know. How's your wife? Uh, she's fine, I guess. Yeah, sure, she's, she's good. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. Go now. Go now. Okay, Jake says it's clear. Come on, let's go. Hey, how are the kids? Don't get me started on the kids. They're growing like weeds, eating me out of house and home. It's showtime. We went on vacation, you know, to the Grand Canyon. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. That's not much of a, it's just a big hole. Did you know that? Jerk off! Oh, sorry. Oh, cool. Well, we had a bit of a tragedy. The, uh, the kid's cherished pet cat, Willie, uh, got hit by a garbage truck. Oh, wonderful. I never heard news like that in my whole life. Will you oh, come oh, on? I did it through my squirrel. Oh, a pink supple of flesh. It tangled with lust and hot desire. Take me now, she said. Hey, Smitty. What? How's what? it going, huh? What? What are you doing here so late? Oh, I had a lot of paperwork to do. I finished it. I knocked it off. I feel much better now, huh? Hey, I'll tell you what, Smitty. Come out with me. I'll buy you dinner, huh? Thanks, but my mom made me a sandwich. Oh, yeah? What kind of sandwich? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly? What are you, six years old? This is for kids. Come on, I'll buy you a big steak, Smitty. Come on. Great, right, I'll go for that. Okay, we're in. Whoa! Oh man, Jake was right. That is one badass dog. Hey, hey, send up Duke. Tell him it's showtime. All right. Come on, boy. Do your stuff. Get down there. Get her, stud. Oh, look at him go. Oh man. He sent it home right away. Let me see. All right, take it easy. Oh yeah. I like that. Hey, 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 jerk up. Don't be getting no ideas. This ain't gonna be no threesome. Hey, get off my ass! Warden, this is really nice of you. Uh, no problem, Smitty. It's my pleasure. We know each other a long time, you know? <laughs> How you boys doing? Very good, very good. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. While I'm waiting for my steak, let me have a bowl of chicken soup. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Today's special is pea soup. Pea soup, hmm? Huh? I'll tell you what, then. Hold that chicken to make it pee, all right? Ah, 
Muzzle tough. Should have been a moil. I wonder if they get HBO on this thing. <laughs> More like the shopping network. All right, baby. Done. <laughs> Somebody forgot to pay their cable bill. All right, let's do it. Let's get at it. Oh, man. Oh, man, will you look at that? She's a beauty. Forget it, Ears. We're not here to rob the safe. We're here to get the exercise equipment. Yeah, Come I, on. I know, but... Let, let, Come on! <sighs> Some other time, sweetheart. No, no, no. Lingerie is on the third floor. Jake said that sporting goods is on the second. Oh, come on, man. When was the last time Jake played a sport? Trust me, it's on the second floor. You're both wrong. It's in the basement, right next to the china and the bric a bracs Yeah, well, I can't read this. It's too dark. Yeah, well, if your eyes were as big as your ears, we wouldn't need flashlights. Does this help? Holy mackerel, look at this. It's a smorgasbord. It's Christmas in July. Eli is Santa Claus. Wait, do here. some shopping. Hey, come here and help me with the foosball table. Here. <laughs> so I said, let the hooker stay in the back seat. <laughs> Enjoy your steak, boys. <laughs> OK, baby. Hey, Smitty, I have steak and sex the same way. Very rare. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, lift it up. Okay, great, that's good. Where are those guys? Come on, what took you so long? Have you ever tried to unplug a pit bull? This guy's a canine Casanova. All right, 11.30, right on schedule. Let's go, ladies. All right. We should all be so lucky, come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby! <laughs> I forgot how good it felt to steal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait till Jake sees all this stuff, huh? Is he gonna be happy? And hey, forget that, did you see through? He was sending the phone home. He was like that, that battery rabbit. He just kept going and going and going. Oh, 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 what happened? Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys like any coffee or dessert? Not me. I got to get back and do the 12 o'clock vet check. Just bring us a check as soon as you can, OK? OK. Hello? Hey, Jake, it's Mile Away. Oh, Louise, what are you doing calling me so late? I thought you'd be in bed by now. <laughs> yeah, well, I wish. Uh, fortunately, we got ourselves a little bit of a problem. We got a flat. A flat? Oh, flat? What? Oh, you're not flat, honey. No, no, you're. Oh, I love you just the way you are. In fact, when can I get to see them again? Well, that's the other problem. Apparently, your tired-ass prison truck ain't got no jack. No jack? No, Jack! Uh, oh, Jack's her cat who ran away again. <laughs> well, I suggest you send someone out to find Jack right away. Yeah, yeah, jerk off an ear's out looking for one, but it's gonna take him some time, man. You better stall Smitty so he didn't do that bed check, or we screwed. Okay, Louise, I'll do what you said. I'll call you as soon as we get it fixed. I love you too, Louise. Goodbye. As you can surmise, that was Louise. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute, honey. We want to have some coffee desserts, you know? But you, but you said... Forget what I told you. I'm nuts. I'm bringing some coffee and two pieces of kumquat pie, okay? I don't want any pie. Bring his pie, too, okay? I'll eat both of them, all right? I I'll take this with okay. you. Okay, okay, Is How are we supposed to find a jack in the middle of the woods? <laughs> See, this is why I prefer to work alone. No screw-up. Wait a minute. Right there, let's check out that farmhouse. Wait, 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 wait. What if they're awake? They're asleep. Come on, let's go. Oh! Let's go! Okay, okay. Boy, so how did you like the kumquat pie? I'll tell you the truth, honey. It could use a little less cum and a little more quat. Hey, you're not going to believe this, but I'm still hungry, you know? You have any fresh fish? Yes. Yeah? Well, slap it, OK? <laughs> I'd like a big piece of fresh fish, you know? OK. What kind? What kind has the most bones? Catfish, I think. Well, good. We have some catfish, then. Two orders of catfish, all right? How would you like it cooked? Baked or fried? Well, which way takes the longest? One, two, three. 
See? There I want What's that? That's paper, right? That's right. And it's a oh, scissors, man. scissors, cut paper. Oh, shit. It's the cops. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, what do you want to do now? There? I don't know. What, do you, what, 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 are gonna, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, you talk to him. Black and a Mexican and a pit bull. I hope you talk red man. Right, shh, wait, I got an idea. Here. Buy something that fits you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what's in here. Let's check in this barn. Watch out for the cop poop. Hey, here's a truck. Let's check this out. All right. You start looking over there. You know, Shmarin, a lot of people get pregnant for eating chicken. Yeah. I mean, it's finger looking good, and one thing leads to another, you know? <laughs> Here's your checks. You be wanting anything else? I'll tell you what, honey. Give me some spaghetti and meatballs, a banana split, and that chicken soup you talked me out of, all right? Howdy. Evening, officer. Nice night, huh? You want to step out of the vehicle, please? Why, yes, I do. <laughs> License and registration. Now, I wasn't speeding anything, was I? No, you weren't speeding, son. But it's illegal to park a vehicle in the middle of a state highway. Now, like I said, license and registration, please. Yeah, right. OK, yeah, license and the registration. You know what? I guess I must have left those back at the prison where I, uh, I work. <laughs> you work at Rockwood Prison? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm, yeah, and big guard there. Yeah, and I was just uh, transporting this here prisoner when we got a flat tire. Can you believe Let that? me call you tow truck, son. Yeah, you know what? No, uh-uh. That's cool. We got it. No, we got it all under control. <laughs> Well, then let me call the, uh, the prison, see if they can send one down somewhere here to help you here. No, no, no. Uh, you don't want to call the prison. No, because, see, because the prisoners are sleeping. Look, I can't let you leave a vehicle here in the middle of the road. i got to call this in now. No, no, that is really not necessary. The Hillsdale no, Station, no, no, Cars no, Avenue no, 1. No, no, please don't do that. Look, I'm telling you, it's no problem. Yeah, so no. This is the Sheriff Hubbard, and we got to see Hubbard? Wait, wait, wait. Jack Hubbard? Yeah, that's right. Hold on, please. Yeah. Jack Hubbard from Hillsdale High School? Yeah, who the hell are you? You don't remember me. Bobby Ray Jones, man. Mile away. <laughs> Mile away? <laughs> oh, well, I'll be cellular on a oh, fat bomb wife's ass. <laughs> oh, oh man. my goodness. <laughs> hey, man, you remember the Wolverines? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. I always wondered what the hell would happen to you. Hey. You know, we always made a bet that you'd either be a ball player or you'd end up in jail. <laughs> <laughs> jail? What's that about? What's it about jail, huh? Well, you got to be going with jail. Well, my way, you always was a tough kid. I'll never forget the time the teacher asked you, what comes at the end of a sentence? And you said, an, an appeal. appeal. <laughs> <laughs> It sure is good to see that you came out on the right side of the track. And yeah. the law. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, if you do half the truth, is that? <laughs> Come funny with you, boy. <coughs> got a problem, Chipmunk Cheeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a problem, convict? Now, boy, you better get back to work on that tire before I give you something to laugh at. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, that's like old times, huh? Remember when we used to beat up on those Mexican kids? <laughs> <laughs> crazy little Mexican kids <laughs> with their crazy little Go hats. Ahead, yeah. Ooh, bitchy Wolverine. <laughs> oh, shit on a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk off, I found one. Jerk off. Sounds like a apartment out there. Hey, dude. What the hell are you doing to my seat? Son of a bitch. Jerk off! What's going on? Run! Run! 
Run for your life! What? Collector! Ah! Jesus! Take that! And then go back to Los Angeles. Jerk off! <laughs> Their seat! You're supposed to count them, not bang them! It's not my fault! She came on to me! Remember that time she used to go out with that, that senior cheerleader? She had the, the dimples and the, the big booby snacks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Humpty Dumpty. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I called her that because after I humped her, I dumped her ass. <laughs> I dumped her ass. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? Let, let me give you my phone number here, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to call me. I got my uh, my homo number, my home number here, and my uh, my cell number there. Oh, great, great, great. And uh, Linda, well, we're at it. Why don't you uh, lay your number down on me, and I'm gonna give you a call. Uh, my 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 number. Mm -hmm, that's oh. right, your number. That's oh. what I said. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. well, uh, my cell number is, uh, 52367. 52367. That's only five numbers. Yeah, yeah. See, I only gave them half the deposit, so they only gave me half the numbers, you know. <laughs> wow. I'll call you as soon as I get the rest. Yeah, okay, okay. That... Oh, excuse me, Milo, wait, I gotta take this. Oh, okay, go ahead. This is Sheriff Hubbard, go ahead. Hey, man, good work. You changed that pretty fast. I ain't talking to you. It's damn Uncle Tom. Oh, hey, say, what's your problem? Hey, don't essay me. What was all this crap about? Hey, convict, hurry up and change the tires. Man, that's part of the act. Yeah, well, you was a regular Denzel Washington. You a sensitive bitch. I got it, I got it. All right. Over now. Oh, uh, listen, fellas, I, I gotta run. There's a, there's a, a couple of perpetrators down on old man Baxter Sheep Farm. I, I'll see you later, mile away. Okay, all right. Oh, hey, Sheriff, what about your jack? Uh, you keep it, and, and you call me. Okay. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> I watch enough Jerry Springer to know that boy's got a shine on you, I can tell. Yeah, yeah, fine. Let's get out of here. Come on! Hey, where's your shoe? What happened to your shoe? Well, I don't know. One minute was on my foot, the next hey, it was gone. Talking? Hey, come oh, on, the cops! Get down, get down! Hi! That was close. Oh, boy. Hey! There they are! Huh? Get in here, come on! Wait, wait, wait! Whoa! Stop! Get in! Get in! Yeah? Jake, we're on our way back. Oh, thank God! Thank God! Oh. Hey, buddy, do yourself a favor, will you? Don't go in there for ten minutes, huh? You better make it an hour. It's all right. I, I got to go so bad. Jesus! What'd you have for dinner? Skunk? I'm just going to use the ladies' room. Uh. Here's your food. Hey, what's going on? I didn't order this. But you said you were hungry. I said I'm in a hurry. That's what I said. I'm in a hurry. Now, take this back. We don't want any more food here. Come on, hurry up. Give me the check, will you? Oh. Chop, chop, whatever, okay? Okay. Hey, yeah. Smitty. Come on, wake up, will you? Huh? We got bed check to do, okay? Oh, okay. Come on, move it, move it, Smitty. Let's okay. go. Okay. While we're young. Come on, princess. Rise and shine. Come on, princess. Here I am. Come on. Beautiful morning. Yeah. We've been robbed! Everything! We've been robbed! Mr. Rockwood! Holy shit! Be princess! 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 Are you all right, Princess? Princess! Oh, a sale on pillowcases! Speak to me, Princess! 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 You slut!
Yeah. Yeah, I think this is where they came in. Gee, you think so? Yeah, I do. Hey, check this out. Hello! But look at this one. This is a Brazilian howling monkey. Woo! <laughs> Saw that on the Discovery Channel. Eli? Eli. Woo! Sheriff, we're kind of pressed for time here. I'm coming, Eli. Now, are you sure the only thing they stole was all that exercise equipment? Yep, yeah, that's it. They wiped out the entire stock of sporting goods. Well, it must be in pretty good shape. Look, I want you to find out who did this, Sheriff. I don't care what it takes. You dust for fingerprints, check DNA, whatever. Just find them. All right. I'll put word out on the street. Maybe even put a little doonhickey in the local paper. No, 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 no. No, no, no media, no, no press, no nothing, OK? I got a big, big deal that's working right now, and, and this kind of publicity just, just ruin it, all right? All right. Well, don't you worry, because if they're breathing, I'm going to get them. Mr. Rockwood! Mr. Rockwood! Great news. The thieves failed to deactivate one of the security cameras. I think I have them on tape. Excellent. Let's see it. OK, we can watch it over here. Come on, Sheriff. Jeez, he's never done that before. Especially not on the first date. <laughs> Look, Mommy Doggy. I want to watch the doggy. Oh, Jesus. Who's been bugging with the remote? You want me to check for paw prints, too, Eli? Just find out who's responsible for all this. Young fella, I'd like to buy a few of these doggy porn tapes. Have you got it on DVD? We some visual thrillers like Mike J and all the way and entering, entering always with something fresh to say. Never knew I'd be so happy. Hey, Ward. Hey, Ward. I really got to hand it to you. I've never seen the inmates this happy. I guess uh, Eli came through with that money, huh? Oh, yeah. He came through like an ATM machine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys. I think we got carried away. It looks like Disneyland out here. Hey, Warden. Hey, Warden. Watch me. Watch me. Oh, OK, Chuck. Oh, beautiful. Not too high, Chuck. Not too high. OK. All okay. right, great, great. Say, Jake, listen, we want to talk to you about something. We think we should pull a few more jobs. No, 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 no. We got the equipment that's what we need. Mm -hmm. But why stop there? They got everything we need in that store to fix the joint up. But you guys can't steal from the same store again. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it, Jake. They got 16 stores. Conveniently located. <laughs> we hit a different store every night. They'll never know where we're coming from. I don't know, fellas. It's dishonest. You're supposed to get rehabilitated in here, not worse. Hey, but Jake, it ain't stealing if it's something you're supposed to get. Look, think of it as Robin Hood. We steal from the rich and we keep it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you're right. What the heck? I only got two months to go anyway. <laughs> what do you mean, two months? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. OK, boys, let's do it. Let's fix this place up, huh? I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Uh, but next time, bring a jack, will you? Last night, I gained 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Warden, I gotta go do bed check. I'll tell you what, have a free lap dance on me, all right? Where are the girls, huh? Girls. Hey, stick around, we'll have some fun here. <laughs> oh, I tell you, Smitty, there's enough there for the three of us. Me, you, and me again. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Come on, baby, lay it on me. They robbed that store, and I get my picture in the paper, and I told you, no publicity. Why do you always have to tell everybody everything? I got a billion dollar merger working here. Because okay? you're talking loud, but that don't make you right. Get hip to the consultation of the founders of our nation. Doing wrong, ain't in the bill of rights.
One of them had me away with one of my sheep, but uh, one of them was diverted to take care of your name. Any of these gentlemen look familiar? Anyone at all? Just picture one of these fellas sweating on your back. Y'all yeah. mm. greasy shoes. Look, you look, you look. Know. Someone's going downtown tonight. What the hell? Who let a monkey in here? I did. He's with me. Miss Beaumont. <laughs> what a surprise. It's an honor to finally meet you in the... Uh flesh. Mm. Ow. What's with the monkey? Oh, that's Max. Since my husband Sebastian died, Max has been like my cellmate. Cute. I was just admiring your collection of prison artifacts. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, uh, my daddy started that. Uh, he was, you know, history buff. Thing. I guess I just kind of got the buck. <laughs> mm. Alphonse Capone. A.K.A. Scarface. Uh-huh. Served six and a half years of his 11-year sentence in 1931 for tax evasion. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> You're a bit of a history buff aficionado yourself. <laughs> well, you know, it's just sort of a hobby for me. In fact, it's one of the reasons I'm interested in your prisons. I find prisons rather erotic. Really? Mm-hmm. Ow. God. Does he have to keep doing that? I think he likes you. I'm glad he doesn't love me. So what have you got under there? Oh, that's the uh, pride and joy of my collection. The piece de resistance. This here is one of the very first electric chairs ever used. Oh, my God. Knock me down and slap my ass. Look at it. It's a beauty. May I sit in it? Oh, be my guest. <sighs> Since I was a little girl, I wanted a chair like this. Well, if this merger goes through, maybe I'll give it to you. Tell me something, Gloria. Yes. Do you have the urge? The urge to merge. I'm not quite sure yet. Strap me in. There you go. <laughs> mm. Mm, maybe you need a little more convincing. Oh, really? Are you so sure that you can handle me? Let's turn on the juice. <sighs> Yes, Veronica? To Rockwood, sorry to interrupt your business meeting, but you're having lunch with the mayor this afternoon. The car is waiting. All right. <clears throat> Forgive me. <laughs> Busy, busy, busy around here. <laughs> uh, what do you say we have dinner later this week? Huh? Oh, my God. What an original idea. Would you please unstrap me? Mm. I don't know how long I'll be in town. <clears throat> Where's your powder room? It's uh, right over there. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm gonna kill you. 
monkey pissed all over my face. Oh, he's just marking his territory. He's supposed to be good luck. For who? The monkey? <sighs> Maxwell Taylor Beaumont, march your little primate ass down here right now. We're leaving. I'll call you with my answer. Come along, Max. I look forward to hearing from you. <clears throat> Damn it. a spell on me I was blind but now I see work your magic back to me wave your wand Evening ladies Name please Candy Williams and Veronica Davis One moment please I can't believe I let you talk me into this blind day with a prisoner Huh What do I say to the guy Do you come here often Oh Veronica lighten up It's next week's cousin and next week's of these very nights and cute. Yeah, he takes me to dinner. We have bread and water. <laughs> but at least Joe's know where he is. <laughs> so good to see you. Unbelievably good to see you. <clears throat> By the way, hey, yes. may I present the fragrant and effervescent Debbie. Oh. She's a uh, chemist currently working at Billy Ray's strip club. Ah, oh, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Oh, thank you. And thank Jake for letting us girls come up tonight. Hey, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey, um, why don't you get us some punch, huh? Okay, baby. Okay. <sighs> yes. <sighs> she gets great here. Mm, but... Boy, I'll tell you, this is really great, but uh, I feel bad for the guys who don't have girlfriends or wives here tonight. <laughs> don't feel so bad. Jake took care of that, too. Check it out. Here you go, treat her nice. All right, what do you want, black or white? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just leave my man. I need something with a little bit more meat on the bone, something I can wrestle with, you know what I'm saying? I got you, baby. Come on. Here you go, Jojo. That's what I'm talking about. Fatty Patty. Oh, yeah. Better known as the Harlan Tunnel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect there to be so much competition. And what makes it worse, they all got their mouths open. That's my baby, my baby. Hi, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Next week. Yes. This is my best friend, Veronica. Hi. So, where's this cute cousin you're setting me up with? All oh, right, 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 right. Uh, Carlos! Hey, yo! Pepper guy, come here, come here. Asuka. Uh, ladies, I'd like to introduce to you my first cousin, Carlos. He put the casa in Casanova. I'm Candice. But you can call me Candy for short. Mm, you sure taste like it. Um, hey, 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 stop <laughs> with the licking. I'm gonna have to disinfect her. Oh, 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 sorry. Um, Carlos, this is my best friend, Veronica Davis. Nice to meet you. Oh, my God. This blind date turned out better than I planned. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second? You don't have to thank me, bro. Just a second, ladies. Okay. Well, what is that, man? I thought you said she was going to be good looking. She's not bad looking. Not bad. They can use her to cure sex offenders. You're so lucky. <laughs> I know. I know. Can you get lucky? I know he is. <laughs> so Candy tells me you're in for stealing jewelry? Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a guy who came home every night with a sack of new jewelry, especially a wedding ring. <laughs> so when you get now. <laughs> Nine months, um, long time. 
How long is a long time? Life without parole. I'll wait. <laughs> I tell you, folks, these guys are working very hard. A big, big hand for the boys in the band. Oh, yeah, and a big thanks to Smitty for the job he did blowing up all those inflatable dogs. Smitty, come in. I tell you, I had a date with an inflatable girl once. Oh, now I got an inflatable guy looking for me. <laughs> and a really, really big thanks to Eli Rockwood, who gave us the money to fix up the prison. Yeah. Eli. Come on, a big, big hand for Eli Rockwood for all his generosity. Wait a minute, Rockwood didn't give any money to this place. Well, he came through to make this a really gather affair. Oh, my God. That's where they got all this money. Kenny, come on. We gotta go. Come on, Chicky. We gotta go. Let's move. Candy, baby, where are you going? No. What's going on, man? What did you do to her? I didn't do nothing. Then maybe that's why she's going. She's out. You know what? You go. I'm staying with no, next week. Right no. I know. Why do Candy, what the hell's going on? You guys. You stay away from me, both of you. What's wrong with your girlfriend? I don't know. I'll tell you what's going on. You guys are behind those robberies, and you stole all of that stuff from my boss's stores. What the hell? Let me tell you. No, no. Don't you take another step. I have mace, and I know how to use it. I'm telling oh. you, don't you move a muscle, Buster. Who goes there? Hey! 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 Come, Over here! Come on, come on, do something. Please! Hey, I love you, man. Hey, hey, what the hell is going on down there? Uh, hey, Wilson, nothing, just, you know, loving our girls. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to be out in the yard there next week. Take it inside. Well, that's the ultimate goal. Hey, psst, hey, come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, you let her go? Hey, lady, take your tongue out of his face. It's coming out of his butt. Come on, let's go. And now, folks, we're going to really shake things up a bit. Hit it, boys. That was a good one. I'm glad we're finally talking again. <laughs> you were just being coy. Hey, <laughs> mind if I go down? Come on, baby. Hey, that's my day. Too fresh, our call. Okay, come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. She's with me. No, she's mine. No. Yes. No. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 I don't think the blow up dolls and the strippers were such a good idea, Ward. You're right. Next year we'll get a karaoke machine. Ooh. Prison shoes. Well, I'll be a greasy gopher shit. Attention inmates. Johnson Forsen will be on the first tee. Second up will be the Mendez Tucson. Mile away has hit the cycle and he's come back for more. Oh, that boy looks hungry. Come on, Mr. Clemens. What you got? <laughs> Didn't like it. Shakes it off. What's he doing here? Looking for a mile away. Can't let him see me in his prison uniform. I'm looking for a mile away. I haven't seen him, buddy. Last time I saw him, he was on the field hitting balls. You might want to suck it up there, Elton John. You gonna crush your nutsack. <laughs> Thanks for the advice there, Sheriff. You're a good man. All right. Thanks, Sheriff. Yeah, you might want to think about what you said. 
mile away? Yeah? Oh, hey, Sheriff. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you, too. Uh, hope I'm not uh, interrupting anything. Nah, I'm just on my lunch break. Just hanging out. I see. I see you see. <laughs> well, anyway, a mile away, I'm here. Uh, I'm heading up the investigation into the Rockwood Department Store robberies. I wondered if maybe I could ask you a couple of questions. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, shoot. Uh, that night I met y'all out on the highway. Around what time did you get your flat tire? Uh, it was around midnight. So we'll say around 12 o'clock? Clock? No, not cock, clock. I meant to say 12. Why don't we just say 11.59 then, shall we? Yeah, let's. And then where'd you go after that? Just came back here. So right back to rock cock, rock, hard rock, cockwood. I don't know what's gotten into me a mile away. I must be working too hard, too much on this case. Hey, no problem. So what's all this got to do with the flat? Well... I found a shoe on a farm right down the road from where I bumped into you that night. A shoe? Oh, not just any shoe. It's the kind of shoe only worn by prison inmates. Really? You haven't heard anything about a breakout, have you? No, 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 no. no we ain't nothing like that. I, I would know, because I'm a guard here at the prison. Whoops. Dropped my pen mile away. Oh, I think I got it. Actually, Sheriff. That ain't it. Oh, my mistake. Uh, well, uh, listen, uh, I think I'm going to have to see you again and ask you some more questions. You say you're out here uh, every day? Yeah. Around the same time? Mm-hmm. That's great. So you'll be back then? Oh, you can count on that. Shit. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, Jake, the sheriff isn't as dumb as he looked. It's only a matter of time before he's on to us. Well, that's it. No more jobs. Pass it on to the boys. You got it. Oh, uh, by the way, I almost forgot. That candy and flowers came for you today. And the card says from a secret admirer. You got an idea who that could be? Uh, no. Got no idea. Well, whoever it is, if I were you, I'd go for it. No, I mean, they are nice, huh? <laughs> I gotta go. If we were to run the model number of this shoe through the computer, we might, and I say we might, be able to narrow it down to, say, 40, 50 prisons that use these same shoes. 40 or 50? I don't have time for this Cinderella shit. I gotta catch these crooks in the act. But we never know where they're gonna hit next, Eli. That's why you have to set a trap, Sheriff. That's how you catch a rat. You set a trap. And I think I know what to use for bait. Yeah? Mr. Rockwood, Gloria Beaumont is on the line for you. Oh. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, Sheriff. I need to take this call. Is that that rich lady with the nice big sweaty thunder jugs? <laughs> Sheriff. The English crumpets? The Russian warships? Yes, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Take off, will you? Okay. Hello, thunder jugs. Uh I'm, uh, Gloria. <laughs> oh, hi, Eli. Listen, love, I'll be in town this weekend, and I thought maybe we could take up where we left off. Uh, shall we say dinner at uh, Chateau Marc? I was thinking of something a little more intimate. Oh, really? Well, uh, how about uh, cocktails at my house? Oh, I'd love a good cocktail. You tell one, and I'll tell one. <laughs> Look forward to that. Ramon, if I don't bleed, then it's not a massage, is it? Sorry, oh, it's just some fool over here with short mm. fingernails. Mm. Mm. <sighs> you dirty little monkey. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ah, I get the eggs, Benedict. And let me get a decaf, non-fat latte, please. Another one. Attention, just got the food already. Today's Pilates class will be held on the West Lawn. Hey, jerk off. There's a sale on leg of lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Cash and carry. Now, this is a score right here. Huh? Guys, we got to pull another job. Hey, no, 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 no. You heard what Jake said. We're through. No more, boo-boo. Ears, you don't understand. This is the weekend sale. You know what that means? That safe is going to be loaded with cash, and they're not going to be able to deliver it to the bank until Monday, which means we got to hit this place on Sunday. What's the point next week? We got everything we need. Yeah, yeah we got everything we need here. But how about when we get out of here, huh? Wait a minute, so, uh... You're saying we pull this job just for ourselves? Bingo! Whoa, 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 whoa. What about Jake? What well, Jake don't have to know. We got breaking out of here down to a science. We'd be fools not to take advantage. You know, he's got a point. I mean, it's not like we're gonna win the lotto or uh, a game show. All right. All right, what the hell? I'm in. There you go. I'm in, too. Mile away? I don't know, maybe you're right. I mean, brother definitely got to think about the future. I can't go back to preaching, and I'm too jealous to pimp. All right, let's do it. Four musketeers, baby. Make that the five musketeers. No, 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 no. Carlos, you got to stay out of this one. This ain't for you. No, you owe me next week. Yo, yo, how you figure that? Hey, man, I had to make out with that barracuda, okay, to keep her from squealing from the cops. Okay, you owe me. Well, he does have a point, you know. If he not done her... She'd have gone straight to the cops. All right, fine. But he's your boy, so he's your responsibility. I got him covered. I got his back. And jerk off? Unfortunately, that means you got to stay behind on this one. Yeah, we'll look like a carpool. <laughs> Next week, are y'all in yet? He's drilling her now! Well, hurry up! Man, this was a bad idea. Hello, girls. I am Carlos. I want to take you away. Did you trip an alarm? No, man, no, wait. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I'm telling you, somebody broke glass. Go check it out. All right, all right, you just keep swimming. Yeah, all right. Hey, and hurry up, okay? I almost got it open. And listen, be quiet. Alicia, Ferrer, Rosa. Carlos, what the hell are you doing? Hey, man, this is a big score. Score my ass. You're gonna, hey! You're going to get a What are you doing, Come man? Come on. Ah, uh, finally, he does something right. So, you got it? I got it, it's open. We'll open it up, let's see the candy. All right, here we go. Oh, huh? <laughs> what the? What the hell is this? We gotta split this five ways. What's the save? Gotcha. Did you turn the alarm off? I didn't turn the alarm off. I was drilling. Did you turn the alarm off? I didn't turn the alarm. Carlos. Man, I was with you, man. No, no, you were with me. Yo estaba contigo. Yo estaba contigo, okay? Tú estabas con Ese fue. Yo era mi pues. We got to get out of here right now. That's what we were talking Let's about. Let's go. Okay, come on. Oh! Oh! oh. Under the red. Stick your greasy little hands on your greasy little head. Get them off Damn. now. Come on now. This we're the Jerry cleaning crew. We're the, the Hill janitor. Hill Sheriff's Department, you are booked. Take it out. Take it easy. Take from downtown and book them, boy. This is my town. It's my jurisdiction. Oh, man. 
Jake ain't gonna like this at all. Yeah, I knew these bastards would take the bait. <laughs> yeah, I'll be by in the morning to get a look at them. I can't wait to see the look on their faces when I... Uh, hold on, Sheriff. Why, Gloria, you look very lovely this evening. Welcome to Sing Sing, bitch. Oh, Sheriff, I'll call you back. <sighs> It was definitely a trap. Yeah, I should have seen it coming. You shouldn't have gone in the first place. I know. I'm sorry, Jake. What do we do now? There's only one thing to do. I gotta go see Eli and tell him the truth. What? Man, you can't do that. He's gonna pin the whole thing on you. Well, it was my idea. Well, yeah, but... We can't let you take the fall just because we got greedy. I mean, white man or not, they'll fire your ass. I'm already fired. Eli gave me the boot last month. Hello, this is the warden. Bring my car around the front. Help me! No, no, you can't keep me in the hole. You're gonna talk, you dirty convict. No, no, don't hit me harder. You're gonna get it now. For God's sake, You're gonna Eli. get it harder. Can't you do anything right? What? Stay down there. You're doing it like a missionary. I thought you wanted to be the bitch meat. For God's sake. Hold still. God. You sure you know what you're doing? Please, Eli, I've beaten men since I was 16. Dead man walking! Ow! Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! Ah! You know what you need? Oh. Ah. You know what oh. you need? Yeah, you what do I need? Bread and water! Uh, bread and water! Bread and water! Bread and water! Say it! Bread, bread and water! water. Bread, bread and water! Say it with an accent! Water! Cash and carry, huh? It's quite a plan there, Charlie Chan. Yeah. Here's some mug shots and fingerprints of those three weirdos, Sheriff. Hmm. Jesus, Floyd, you look more tired than a tortoise twat. Thanks. Listen, uh, why don't you head on home? I'll stay on till the morning shift comes on, all right? Thanks, Sheriff. Jesus Christ, in a gumball machine. Now, where have I seen this grease ball before? Prison guards. Okay. Mile away. I'm coming, son. <laughs> I'm coming. Mile away. Sweet turkey shit. What a surprise. Yo, yeah, Chef. I was just on my way home from work and um, thought maybe I'd stop by and see if I could help you out with that Rockwood department store case. Well, that's mighty nice, you mile away, but that one's already been solved. You kid? Yeah, I got the culprits locked up in my cell inside. Only problem is they don't got any ID and they ain't talking, so I don't know the names. Uh-oh, we do. Ah, he, ah, he means we uh, might. Uh, you know, because we experienced so many dastardly crooks coming in and out of the prison system uh, that perhaps we might have some kind of, you know, visual recognition on your perpetrators. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh-huh. Who's your friend, Mile Away? No, that's just Jerko. Jerko? Jericho. Jericho. He's from a very religious family. Jesus rules! All right, then. Why don't you uh, fellas step inside? So, these are the masterminds behind the Rockwood Heist, huh? Uh-huh, yeah. Well, I gotta tell you, they don't look all that smart to me. In fact, this one right here, 
He looked positively ignorant to okay, me. Okay, now, Mileway, you don't want to get so close. These fellas could be kind of dangerous now. Mileway. All right. All right, he's cool. I don't recognize any of them. I don't know. This one looks kind of familiar. Huh. He does? Yeah, you know, like one of those Friends guys. Friends guys? What? Yeah, maybe not Chandler, more uh, Joey or Ross. Now that you do mention it, he does look a bit like Joey around the eyes. All right, so put your hands up. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Easy, easy, hand the gun over. You better do what he says, Sheriff. These men look desperate. Don't make no stupid moves, I'll blow his brains out. Don't lally around, I'll give it to him. Okay, I'll give it to him if you make oh, any sense. Thank you, I'll take it. Shut up, you idiot. Give me the gun. <sighs> Come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, McLeod. Get in here, bite me, pipe. All right. Come on, let's go in there. Everybody. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, just you, just you, Sheriff. Uh, yeah, I, I need these boys as, 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 um. Hostages. Yeah, hostages. That's what I need them for. Back off, back off, back off. Here we go. All right. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, go. Hold it right there. Go, go it out. Go. Okay. Three, you greasy slam. Oh, Jesus, sweet teriyaki boy. Where'd you learn to drive, Switzerland? Come on, hey. By the way, are you okay, son? Uh, yes. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go get you. Come on now. Uh, uh, uh oh, 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 hold up. Yeah, what? Move over. I'll drive. Well, now you got to get one Hey, come on. Oh, he's going to take the back of my hand. Here we go. Come on. Oh, God. Oh. Wow. You're fantastic. Oh, no. You. You are fantastic. Oh. Now, I'm not really into all that kinky shit, but... That thing you're doing with your finger, <laughs> that really turned me on. <laughs> mm, I didn't do anything with my finger. Yeah, you know, the thing you're doing with your finger, you know, when your finger was back there, <laughs> like that. My finger was never back there. Well, if it wasn't your finger, whose finger was it? You. Here. Where? You pesky barbie, come here. For God's sake, stop trying to spank my monkey. Okay, I got you now, you little critter. You'll never get him, he's too quick. Get, get away, nobody violates my house and gets away with it. A little quicker. Who the hell could that be this time of night? Pulaski, what the hell you want? I'm sorry to bother you so late, Eli, but I gotta talk to you. Well, it's kind of a bad time. I'm right in the middle of a business meeting. It'll only take a minute, and it's very important. All right, come on in. What do you want? Well, I tell you, see, it's like this. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. We'll get on with it. Anyway, it's like this, you know. The three guys you oh, picked up. Mm, oh. oh! It sounds like she started without you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the three guys you see that you picked up. Yeah, I started I got to tell those you. bastards. I got them good. Well, you understand, it's not their fault. Oh, yeah, I know. They all had a rotten childhood. But they're going to get rehabilitated in prison. <laughs> it's too late for that. <laughs> oh, there, there, yes, that's a spot. Oh, 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 Max, you are so there. Yes, 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 oh, yes, that's a spot. What are you trying to say, Pulaski? I'm trying to say it was me. Right, it was right, my fault. I, yeah. Yeah. Eli, Chris does escape. What? Mm -hmm. One of them's got a gun. We're in pursuit right now. We're headed to... West on Highway 61. Well, shoot him. Kill him if you have to. 
It's all the bloody racket. The crooks that robbed my store, they just escaped from jail. Oh, they did. <laughs> they did, huh? Sheriff's after him now. I'm going to chase him myself. Oh, yummy. Pulaski, you come with me. We'll cut him off at Old Mill Road. Yeah, that's right where the old schoolhouse used to be. Well, wait for me. I'm coming, too. Jailbreak, jailbreak, jailbreak. Come on, son, step on it. Get the lid out. Oh, I'd love to. Speed limit's 45. Are you fucking with me? Where's the law? Son, move it now. Move it. Oh, man, they're right behind us. I can't believe we broke out of jail to break into prison. Jerk off, go, go. Boy, boy, wake up and get out of here. I need backup on highway. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, we'll go back and get that later. Well, I'll be a flapjack at a Waffle House. There they are. Hey, isn't that truck prison property? Look at that. The stealing never stopped, you know? Eli, who the fuck is he? That's Jake Pulaski. Warden of Rockwood Prison. How you doing, ma'am? How are you? Did you say warden? <laughs> what? This scratch is his handles pretty well, almost as good as my Cadillac. <laughs> what the hell's going on back there? Now I'm gonna show the boys how I play with my bang bang stick. Hold the car steady, I'm gonna shoot their tires down. Oh. 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 I think I just shot the balls off the man in the moon. That a boy, jerk off. I think we lost him. Duck on you, my lad. Maybe not. Come on, jerk up, step on it. I'm trying, I'm trying. Sorry. Hawk Dan was gaining on those great balls. Catfish crap are you doing? We low on gas. We got half a tank now. Come on. Well, yeah, but this could be a very long chase. We don't know. All right, now come on, slide under me. I'm driving. Come on, move over here. Come on, here we go. Ow! Ow! What happened? I think I just sat on a stick ship. Uh this is an automatic. This Hello? <laughs> Her honey is great. Oh, wonderful. I mean, there's so many more things I want to learn about you. Like what? Oh. Your name? All right, we're on it again. We gotta stop. Oh, no way. I almost got him. But, but, but it's important. I don't care. I gotta take a leap. I said, you gotta take a leap? Well, I'll join you. Some night, huh? Uh-huh, it's a beauty. Hey, <laughs> if you look close, you can see the Big Dipper. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, shooting star. <laughs> if you make a wish, it'll come true. You promise? Open the gate! We're back with the laundry! Why the hell are they coming back to the prison? Maybe they want to turn themselves in. Driver, coming in the day. Oh, oh, right there. Yes, sir, can I help you? I'm Eli Rockwood, let me in. Oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Rockwood, please, go right in. Joe Rockwood, Eli Rockwood's here, that's Eli. I saw them with my own eyes, Smitty. There were four of them and they came through here not more than five minutes ago. Now, where are they? <laughs> I didn't see nobody. <laughs> How about you, Smitty? No, I don't see nothing. Yeah. There's something different about this place. <laughs> we painted the place. <laughs> no, that's not it. Turn on the lights. What the hell?
hell is all this? Well, yeah, we made a few improvements, you know. Improvement? Yeah. This, is, this is nicer in my country club. How much all this cost? Oh, not as much as you think, Eli. Hey, this is from my store. This is from my store. All this stuff is from my store. You stole it. That's why those crooks, they came back here. You're the one behind the robberies. No! No, hang on. Hold it. It wasn't Jake. It was us. We pulled the jobs. Yeah, he's right. The, the warden's clean. He had nothing to do with this. You expect me to believe that you stole all this stuff and, the, and he had no knowledge of any of it, huh? Sure, if you're that gullible. <laughs> I'm sorry, son, but I ain't that stupid. You're going down, Jake. You're going down. On who? <laughs> you know what I mean. Eli! Hey, hey, hey! Eli, Eli, I am very impressed. Oh, oh it's nothing. I know my way around a firearm. No, with your prison. You know, it's the nicest one I've ever seen. It's quite beautiful, really. And you know, anyone who can handle an organization like this is someone that, well, I fancy being in business with. Uh, excuse me, miss, lady. It was the warden. He, he did all this. Really? Well, I can't take all the credit. I mean, I went to Eli and asked him for the money. He came through like a champ, you know? <laughs> well, I've made my decision, Eli. I want to merge with you. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and you, Jake. I'd like you to oversee all the prisons. You know, sort of like being head warden. No, 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 no. Jake, he, uh, he, he can't do that. Well, why not? Because he was just fired. Well, who the fuck fired you? No, no, no. He's not fired. He's fired. Fired up. He's fired up. He's just fired up about the whole idea. Right. <laughs> yeah, Jake can be Ed Morton. <laughs> of course. And I'll have my attorneys drop the paperwork right away. I'm so excited about this. I am excited too. I mean, anyone who can maintain a prison like this on $10 a day, I mean, that is really special, Eli. $10? Uh, uh, Gloria, about them figures. Hold up there, Gloria. <laughs> Gloria, uh, wait a minute. That, that was, uh, well, boys, it looks like we did it. We fixed up the place, and now it's time for you guys to get rehabilitated. You did a good job. I'm proud of you all. You understand? Hey, Jake, listen. Yeah. I know about this little bank in Arizona. Easy pickings, all cash. Clean. I know about a little broad in Arizona. <laughs> hey, Jake, you hear about the Polish carpool? No. And <laughs> need it work. Oh, very good, very good. So funny. You know, with those big ears, you look like a Mike Tyson buffet. <laughs> well, it's been a little over a year now, and everyone is doing great. I decided not to take Gloria's job offer and take my retirement after all. Yeah, Smitty and I finally took that fishing trip we were always talking about. Together, we made a great team. Yeah, Smitty caught all the fish, and I got the crabs. Next week in Carlos, we're the first to come up for parole. Hi, Papi Chulo! Guess who was waiting for them? I thought she was a barracuda. She's more like a blowfish. You know, it turned out Carlos got lucky after all. <laughs> when Ears got out, he tried going straight for a while. Dad. Until he landed a really big score. Name the tropical island that actor Marlon Brando fell in love with and made his home after making the 1962 remake of Mutiny on the Bounty. Is it? Fiji? No, I'm sorry. The correct answer is Tahiti. But thanks for playing. Thanks, Louie. OK, let's see if our second contestant can answer this question. He's been locked in our soundproof booth. Valerie, let him out. I guess it's my turn now. How you doing? <laughs> OK. Name the, the answer's Tahiti. Tahiti. Tahiti's the answer. Tahiti. Tahiti's the answer. You're right. That's right. You're our $1 million grand prize. Oh, I guess that booth wasn't too soundproof after all. You may kiss the bride. And guess who patched things up with his girlfriend? That's right, Jerkoff got hit. Jerkoff said he always wanted to start a family. Okay, now push, huh? Here it comes. It's coming. Oh. 
Congratulations. It's got your mouth. Would the father like to cut the cord? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, that's my kid! Slippery. Grab the cord! Grab the cord! Monterey made a total transformation when he became the sheriff's new deputy. Now, Monterey and the sheriff have a wonderful working relationship. When they're not out chasing bad guys, they're chasing each other. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Come here! I wanna hug! Jake, sing a song. Come on, sing Wise Guy. Forget it. We don't do that. That's ancient history. I haven't sung that song in a long time. Oh, come on, Jake. You know it. Come on, give him a break. The man needs to rehearse. Rehearse? I already rehearsed. Sit down, will you? <laughs> You're a wise guy, you're a wise guy. You have your own way of getting by. Who but yourself gave you that name while your poor mother is crying with shame. You're a grafter, <laughs> what comes after? Your games and your rackets are through. And who is to blame when you get a number for a name? Oh, wise guy, you're the prize chump of all.